Elon Musk just made one of the biggest announcements ever because his company named Neuralink now got the full approval to actually put its brain computer chips inside real human beings. But the craziest part is what these chips can actually do with the ultimate goal of restoring vision as well as mobility and much more to those people who have lost it in the past. But Elon of course takes it another step further saying he also wants to use it for gaming in the future and that is what most of us have always been waiting for because this could mean we can create a virtual reality headset similar to that of the full dive nerve gear of Sword Art Online where people can really feel the virtual world around them and where it becomes hard to distinguish between that and real life. Now the company already revealed its N1 link implant all the way back in 2020 but one of its biggest breakthroughs came last year where they actually managed to make a monkey play the game Pong by just using its mind. Now compared to the full dive nerve gear the reason why these chips are so unique is because besides just reading your brain waves, it is also capable of sending signals back. That means it can actually make you feel something like a virtual object without it physically being there. And although this almost sounds like magic, this is exactly how these chips work in real life. But of course, there are also some big problems because at the moment these chips only have a very limited capability and they actually need surgery to be placed directly into your skull with no actual wireless solution or non-evasive way that is possible at the moment. So this will be used first for people that need it for medical reasons and it might take a while before we can actually see it implemented for things like gaming. But at the same time, we should also not forget that there are other big companies that are trying to achieve the exact same thing because the Nerve Gear-like headset from Varjo is actually coming out in less than two months. Now, for those who don't know, this headset by OpenBCI is called Project Gallia. And with its release right around the corner, it is probably the craziest VR headset ever made because with its built-in EEG, it is capable of reading your brainwaves without needing any crazy implant. And besides that, they built in many other cutting edge technology sensors that can do things like track your facial movement as well as your muscle tension and even the amount of sweat on your face. But the only limitation is that it is not capable of sending signals back to the brain yet. But creating the first non-invasive way to combine virtual reality with using just your thoughts to actually interact with VR. But this headset does not come in cheap. With the maxed out option starting at a crazy price tag of $34,000. Emotional, damn it! And while that is absolutely insane, it is actually already sold out till the end of December. But talking about expensive headsets is that we also just got the reveal of the Apple Vision Pro. And of course, Meta's founder, Mark Zuckerberg, hasn't been shy about addressing the elephant in the room, since this could be the first big competition in a virtual reality space, with Meta and Apple together battling it out. But Zuckerberg's comment was mostly regarding the price because the Apple Vision Pro comes in at a price tag of $3,500, while the upcoming Meta Quest 3 comes in at a seventh of the price, just shy around $500. But you do have to keep in mind that both technologies are on complete different scales, where Apple is mostly focused on the augmented reality side of things. It is Facebook and Meta that are more focused on VR. And although on paper, the Apple Vision Pro sounds absolutely amazing, this headset is not necessarily meant for gaming because it does not include any controllers and the only possibilities right now is using that of the PlayStation 5 to play flat screen 2D games. So besides the big price difference, it is also more of the question what you use your headset for because we can be sure that Apple will focus more on productivity and workflow where Meta is focusing more on virtual gaming and the social aspect of things. Although there might be a big change coming for this very soon because it also turned out that the Vision Pro will support the hit social VR game named Rec Room and this was definitely definitely a big surprise. And although Rec Room was the only native VR app shown during the entire presentation, it is good to mention that one game could actually lead to a potential full library in the future. But without the motion controllers and relying on hand tracking and eye tracking, it seems that Rec Room will primarily target motion controllers for VR input. So they might have to change it within an update to actually make it work on this headset. But even so, we shouldn't give up on the virtual reality aspect of Apple just yet. But before we get to some big VR game news, a quick word from the company that made this video possible. If you are wearing
wearing glasses or lenses in your day-to-day -day life. You might have already experienced some problems using your VR headset comfortably. Then you should definitely check out the lenses of the company named VR Wave. Because with it, you can get your own eye prescription and directly insert them into your VR headset so that you can see every detail possible inside your VR experience. And they have lenses for every single headset possible, from the Quest headsets to the new PlayStation VR 2. And you can use the code FRELITY for a 5% discount on all your purchases. Now, if you're interested, I'll leave a link for you guys in the description below. And with that said, let's get right back into it. With Ghostbusters, Rise of the Ghost Lord, shipping simultaneously on Quest and PSVR 2 later this year. This news comes along with a new story-focused trailer that shows us some new footage of this highly anticipated game. And although we had to wait for almost over a year, it is now confirmed that it is coming in just a couple of months. And if you remember correctly, since the Meta Quest 3 will support its entire library, this means it will also be coming to this new virtual reality headset. But we also got a very unique new experience, which is Sherlock Holmes coming to the Quest 2 this week. And although you might expect a standard detective VR game, they actually took a complete different spin to this one. And it supports solo mode as well as multiplayer with up to four other people. But what makes it so different is that it actually uses live action people with professional theater actors. So instead of virtual avatars and an entire virtual game, you will be searching for clues before building a case against your prime suspect in a much more realistic setting. But we also also got some news about the massive title known as Asgard's Wrath 2. This is Meta's AAA Golden Goose that many of us have been waiting for. And we now got the news that it will come in at a price point of $59.99, both coming to the Quest 2 as well as the upcoming Meta Quest 3. And for those who haven't played the first game, this one will pick up right after its ending. But probably the biggest news that came from this is that we now know that the game is clocking in at around 60 hours of gameplay, with the world being a lot lot bigger than the first game. But this also came with some big concerns, because the original game launched on the Oculus Rift, and while that supported the PC VR power, it is not at all on par with that of the Quest 2 chipset. Luckily, the studios confirmed that they managed to put out some high quality content without it having to suffer too much in the visual department, giving the example of Red Matter 2 that looks almost like a PC VR game running on the Quest 2 headset. But a thing that you should keep in mind is that they will make a special version for the Quest 3 that takes full advantage of its new processor. So when playing it on this new headset, it will have a higher resolution as well as look and feel a lot better. But even so, this will most likely be the must-play game of 2023. But we had even more VR news, so click on the video right now to make sure that you don't miss it. And of course, stay awesome.